Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a Mexican wrestling mask. This is part of the plaster mask series. If you haven't watched the other video that shows you how to make a plaster mask, you could do that first. You could also create this out of paper. It'll just show you the basic shapes and face um, or facial features that you would want to include. And this is my example here. And so now I will go ahead and show you how to get started. So you can see on my wrestling mask, I've already painted um, a base coat of green because that'll be my background, my main color. That just saves you a lot of time if you go ahead and do it beforehand um, so that you don't have to paint the color in around the designs that you add to your mask. Um, these are the supplies that you'll need. You don't have to use um, gemstones. They're just kind of a fun addition if you like to. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up maybe using one on the forehead is my plan for this mask. Um, you'll need acrylic paints. Tempera paints do not work um, because they don't bond to the plaster. So acrylic paints work great. You'll need some brushes and water um, and paper towel to dry your brush in between colors. Um, if you're doing a Mexican wrestling mask, the things that you would want to include for your mask um, are kind of fierce eyes. And if you kind of angle them downward, um, it tends to give it that look because if it's a wrestling mask, you wouldn't want it to look nice. You would want it to be fierce um, and intimidating to its opponent. Um, they typically have like a triangle nose shape. It's pretty basic. Um, the same for the mouth. Um, they don't include lips or teeth, just an opening. Um, a wrestling mask usually has an outline shape that kind of goes around the eyes, nose, and mouth in and kind of closes that. Um, and then the color scheme is usually limited to three or four colors and you could go a little bit you know beyond that if you wanted to but most wrestling masks you see only have three or four colors so for my color scheme i've chosen to stick with four colors i've got green black yellow and white and i will begin by just kind of sketching out onto my mask um, the outline shape like for the eyes nose and mouth um, to get an idea of what it will look like so I will start, um, we'll start with the black and I'm going to start right here for the eye shape. And I'm just kind of ignoring the eye shape that's actually on the mask and creating my own. And then for the nose shape, we'll do just kind of a large triangle shape. And then for the mouth, we said kind of a basic opening. Okay, and then at this point, I need to create the design or the outline that goes around the eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, so now I've finished painting my mask and it is still in the drying process, but I'm gonna go ahead, since this part's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add a gemstone. And the way you do that, you can just put a drop of hot glue um, where you want the gemstone to go. 
and then attach it. And at this point, once my mask is completely dry, I'll add a clear coat um, of Mod Podge, um, which is just like a sealant, um, a clear coat. You can also buy like acrylic sprays, but I'll finish it. That'll just kind of seal it and make my mask um, even more durable and less breakable. So there is my finished wrestling mask. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. This summer will include some fun summer art projects you can do at home, as well as we'll document part of our trip to New York City, and we'll also show you some more about the art studio and how to set one up. So stay tuned. Thanks.